We have two new power banks from Ugreen and I think they are very interesting. Particularly this one because I think it's going to replace some of the tools that I have that I am using to do reviews and testing because of the functionality of this power bank. If you haven't already know, Ugreen sells a lot of stuff and they have a lot of power banks as well. And these are the latest one in their portfolio. So before we begin, do like and subscribe as we don't have any sponsors that will really help us out a lot. Now, let's take a quick look at this big one first with the model number of PB721. On the box, it says Smart Digital Display, flight approved because the total capacity of a battery cannot exceed 100 watt hours for commercial flights and it supports up to 100 watts through a single port. The capacity of this power bank is 20,000 mAh but as what we've said before, we need to see the watt hour value and on the box it says 72 watt hours. We'll get back to this later because I promise you this is what makes the power bank special. Now when we unbox the power bank, the packaging is interesting. Once we got it open, we have an accessories box, a USB-C to USB-C cable and this cable is actually supporting up to 240 watts which means USB to PD 3.1 compliant and also a pouch to store a power bank and the cable together. Now, the power bank itself kind of looks like a brick. It has a total of three ports at the top, two USB-C and one USB-A. The maximum power outputs are as listed on the screen here. If we only use one USB-C port, then it will have a maximum of 100 watts output. The supported charging protocols are shown on the screen here. It supports USB 3.0 of up to 100 watts with USB PD PPS as well and the range is as wide as it can be. We can charge laptops and even the ROG Ally and get its full performance with this power bank. Bypass charging on Samsung phones or ROG phones are also supported by this power bank as well. We can also use this port to charge the power bank at 65 watts as well. The back here does say that plugging in both USB-C ports will have a combined power output of 130 watts and that is why this box has the number 130 watts printed on it. Now, what makes this power bank interesting is the screen. It has a robot face as the boot up screen and we can see the remaining battery percentage as well as the time remaining at the top right corner there. The magic happens below the battery percentage display. When I plug in the ROG Ally, we can see how much power the power bank is outputting and how much time it has remaining if it continuously outputs that amount of wattage. This is where the watt hour number is important because the ROG Ally has a 40 watt hour battery capacity and this power bank has a 72 watt hour capacity. Assuming zero losses, this power bank is able to power up the ROG Ally by 1.8 times longer. That's it. And that is exactly what is happening here. The time remaining at the top right corner there even tells us how long the power bank can last at this power output before it runs dry. This is why I state we need to start measuring battery capacity in watt hours and not milliampere hours. We did a full video about it at the top right corner there so you can watch that for more information. And because that information is displayed on the screen, I think I prefer this power bank more than the existing Ugreen PB205 power bank that I have. Yes, that power bank is slimmer and has a higher capacity of 90 watt hours, but I am spoiled by the information display on the screen by this new power bank. Now enough about this, the second power bank here is much simpler, it's the PB724 with a 100 watts maximum output via a single USB-C port and it is also flight approved. This power bank is rated only for 44.4 watt hours. The unboxing is even more simpler because it only has a USB-C to USB-C cable in the box alongside some documentations and we don't even have a pouch but that is okay. The power bank itself shares the same design language as the bigger one, but it now only has two USB ports at the top. One USB-C that can output 100 watts with all of these protocols supported. Again, the supported USB PD PPS is as wide as it can be, and I'm just happy about that. Now, even though it looks like there is a screen, this power bank is again much simpler than the bigger one and it just shows a big number indicating the remaining battery percentage. 
This power bank is great for those who need something small with a rather big battery capacity to carry around every day and it can also charge your supported laptops and devices like the ROG Ally as well. The prices of these two power banks are as shown on the screen here and you can get it during the flash sale happening on 99 promotion. And if you're buying from Shopee, you can use the code UGREENPBN and get 20 ringgit off from your purchase of these UGREEN Nexoot power banks. And that's all that we have to share with you here today. If you have any questions, then do let me know down in the comment section below and remember to like and subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next video.